Hi, welcome to Board Shop, surfboard review time. Today it's the Lost V3 Rocket. The Rocket family's been around for ages. It was basically the original hybrid principal board from Matt Bylos, and it's evolved through the V2 Rocket into the V3 Rocket, which is now uh, one of the most popular hybrid type boards out there. Let's find out why. <coughs> a relatively flat rocker line, a little bit of nose lift, a little bit of tail lift, which is all about paddling, generating and maintaining speed. So good paddle into the wave power, good flat water paddling, um, <coughs> and that flat uh, front end of the board running into a double concave generates lift, which gives you speed, which is what the, uh, the V3 is all about. You can see the tail shape, the bat wing, uh, fairly unusual in um, general surfboard design, but the bat wing is there uh, with the two steps in it to take some of the volume out of that flat wide tail. The idea of that is that it breaks the surface of the water more easily, so pushes in and allows you to initiate turns a little bit more easily than if it was just straight down into a fat squash. So the idea is that it makes the board more maneuverable and gives it a looser feel. So the V3 um, hybrid kind of uh, kind of hybrid kind of board excuse me, um, is designed for waist high to well overhead waves. All the feedback and reports from customers who have them say that actually it surfs really well in good solid overhead surf, but it does prefer cleaner conditions. There's no question about that. It doesn't like mush so well, it doesn't go so well in mush. Unless you're a really, really good surfer and you can get it going and generate the speed for the average guy, it is a cleanish waist high wave and up board. <coughs> um, it's super popular and it, it's, it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's a little bit of a Marmite board, uh, partly because of that back tail and how it looks, but partly how you have to power it off the back foot to get it surfing. But in general, uh, if you have pat match it up with a, a super groveler or a very flat grovelery type board, it completes your quiver uh, for most travels that most people are gonna have for good waves at home or for traveling abroad. So uh, the V3 Rocket, <coughs> it's also available in carbon wrap, as you can see behind me right here. The carbon wrap is a stringless epoxy technology uh, which is lighter, stronger and faster than the standard PU. It carries a higher price tag because of that, but it does give you more performance. We reckon from surfing various carbon wrap boards, short rounds, V3s and what have you, it actually gives you about 15% more speed. So if you've got the budget and you like a bit of epoxy, lighter, stronger, faster, then the V3 Rocket in the carbon wrap technology is a really, really good option. You can, of course, customize either the PU or the carbon wrap version. You can buy one on 0% finance. You can trade in old boards against either of these boards as well. And we'll shortly be doing a review of the V3 Stealth, the more performance you kind of step on um, from the standard V3 Rocket. But the V3 Rocket, you're looking for an all-rounder hybrid to match up with your groveler. Look no further.